Today we're going to talk about tilapia ponds. Alright, I have a question from Robert Hernandez on Twitter and he says, do you have any experience or recommendation for a tilapia pond? And um, if you know me, you know I have some experience with cichlids. And to tell you exactly what a tilapia is, tilapia is in the cichlid family. It's, uh, it's basically a tropical fish, it's a warm water fish and they get, mm, I don't know, 12 inches if I remember correctly. They get a good size and they're great for eating. And it's becoming more and more popular for people to come in and, and, and more common for people to ask about, can I put tilapia in my pond? How can I raise tilapia? Because it takes us into the, it takes us into, um, you know, aquaculture is raising tilapia, and you got hydroponics is raising aquatic plant or plants, like vegetables, and then you have, uh, uh, aquaponics is right there in the middle when you're growing fish that you can eat like tilapia and then you're growing vegetables that you can eat so it's about sustainability and a lot of people are asking this because they want to do this in their backyard so it's a it's a the, this question is spot on with what's happening at our facility right now um, I mean Nothing's really more rewarding than going out to your backyard and, and grabbing a tomato like fresh off the vine and eating it. It's just a great feeling. But imagine if you're doing that where you take the fish out of your pond and you make you know fish tacos and you're taking the lettuce from the same pond and you're taking vegetables like the tomatoes, fruits, and, and you're taking it all from the same thing and you're putting it together in tacos and doing it from your backyard. This is where the people are moving because of GMOs and all this stuff. So um, I'm in Southern California. We're blessed with amazing weather, but I'll tell you this, we can't keep tilapia in an outdoor pond over over the winter. It just gets too cold. It's a tropical fish. They love it at 80 degrees. This is gonna be the biggest factor that you need to consider when you're gonna build a, a tilapia pond, okay? So um, here's what you need to know. If you're gonna do this, like most most ponds that you're doing tilapia in, they're square. They're, there's no places for the fish to hide so they can get net net them out very easily. Uh, oftentimes, if you're going to be have have the breeders, if you want to if you want to grow colonies of fish for for food purposes, and I hope this is the direction you were headed, Richard, because you might be appalled. Like I don't want to eat them. I love them because that's a cool fish too. But but this is really what people are asking about. So if you're doing a pond for them, you want to be able to catch them out. If the females are breeding, you want to be able to take the babies. You strip the babies out of their mouth. They're live bearing fish. So you would strip the babies out of the, out of the female's mouth and then you'd raise them in another uh, holding tank so you can grow them up to where you can you know, eventually eat them. So when, when you have a pond specifically for tilapia, we need to know what the reason is for. Is it just for fun because you love this fish? If that's the case, then you would probably have these cool rock outcroppings, a couple of underwater plants that are growing in there like area that the fish can swim in and out of, the babies can hide in, and you have this the cool cichlid pond. Uh, keeping it warm is the key. So you're, you're most likely going to need to put a greenhouse over it. I mean, there's really not much of a way around that unless you're going to have the, the fish in the pond all summer. I mean, you're probably only going to have them in the summertime. Three or four months is the most you're going to get. And by mid-September in Southern California, you got to get those fish out because when it gets cold, you get that cold snap, you could have a complete fish kill off in the whole thing. So greenhouse is critical. But back to... Um, Back to the pond, you know, you can't keep the females, I mean, you can keep the males and females together. You'd have a couple males and like four or five females in, in a certain growing pond, depending on the size pond you have. And then that's where, um, you know, you would do the breeding. You take the females, take the babies and grow them out something else. And you need all these different things because they can grow. Once the females have the eggs in their mouth, in 18 days, there's little fish swimming around in their mouth. And uh, they'll hold them in there for over a month and so they're not eating as well and they're getting skinny. So you really have to create the environment to where they can release the eggs, I mean, or the babies in the pond and let them free swim or you have to strip them out there. So I hope that kind of 
um, answer some of the questions on it, but the biggest, biggest concern is greenhouse. That's the most important thing. Um, before I get to the question of the day, I want to tell everyone here, I'll make an announcement that we have some new shirts, some company shirts that are being uh, made. I'll probably have them in three to four weeks tops. And I am going to be giving away some t-shirts here on the show for some of our loyal fans that share our videos all the time. Sometimes I'm just blown away about how dedicated some of our our followers are that keep sharing our videos. It's really important for us to share this content. We're working really hard to bring you important information that you can take home and save money on. And when when our fans share it with their friends and those people share it with those friends, it's really important to us and we appreciate it a lot. So as soon as I get our t-shirts, I'm gonna show them off on the show and I'm gonna make an announcement to people who share quite a bit for us. So please continue to share our videos and you might win one of our t-shirts. The question of the day is, are you interested in growing growing things in your pond for sustainability, like vegetables, like fish that you can eat? And um, I really wanna know how you're feeling about that because we have a lot of fish lovers that don't wanna eat the fish. But at the same time, you know, we have people that want to, you know, um, do that stuff in their very own backyard. And I personally love tilapia. If it's cooked right, it's an amazing dish. So. Do me this favor. A, first tell me if you're interested in knowing more about this. And B, if you do have a tilapia recipe that you cook with, I wanna know about it. Please put it down in the comment section so I can give it a shot, because I do enjoy the fish very much. In the meantime, I'm Eric Tripp, the Pond Digger, and I hope you dig ponds as much as I do. Mm -hmm.